haul for you guys, which is fun because I haven't done a Mac haul in a while. And this month, once I started looking at all the Mac stuff, I kind of went a little crazy. So there's a lot here. <laughs> so um, I shopped three times. I did an order on Mac.com. I did an in-store order, or not in-store order, just I went to the store. And then the third thing is I shopped online from the Bay, which is a, kind of the Canadian version of Nordstrom. So I've got it all here, and let's just get into it. I got three lipsticks. And one I did not intend to get, but it's the one I'm wearing on my lips. This is from the new, I think it's limited edition, uh, Flamingo Park collection that they've got for spring. So I have this on my lips today. This is called Nice to Meet You. And that's what it looks like. Now in the tube, it does come off like it's going to be a really vibrant red. And I don't know how it's coming off on the camera, but the reason I like this is it's not just red. It's kind of got like a pinky undertone. And so when I swatched it on my hand in the store, I had to I had to leave with it. It's it's so beautiful. I did not expect to want this lipstick and I really really love it. Another thing I love and I have been wearing nonstop since I got it is kind of a classic, I believe. This is Sweetie. And this on me is really like a your lips but better with some shimmery glitteriness to it so it just brings a little bit of life to my lips i i threw this in my purse and i've just been applying it throughout the day like almost every day non-stop i can't stop wearing it it just looks so pretty and so natural and i've just been loving it so much the third one i bought online got it so i didn't have a chance to swatch it i was looking at lip swatch you know images on google image do you guys ever do that i would like google image um color of something it could be mac it could be something else but anyway i'll google image it to see swatches and this has pleased me this is like a classic and it was one i thought oh i should get that it it would be great to have in my collection it looks like a really nice neutral pink on my lips this is a matte by the way on my lips it just looks ridiculous it just looks funny it makes me look like a clown i just don't it doesn't work and I'm so sad, but um, so I don't know. Can I return this? I don't even know if I can, but anyway, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's just not going to work for me. Maybe I'll give it another try with something on top of it, but anyway, I don't know if I said Sweetie is uh, Luster and Nice to Meet You is a cream sheen. I think I tend to like non-matte lipsticks. I know matte lipsticks are like such a huge trend right now, but I... I don't know I don't love the way they look on me so maybe I should just stay away from them altogether. <laughs> um, two of the things that I ordered one is the MAC Giga Black extended play mascara and actually I just this is my old one and that's why I reordered it because this is kind of on its last legs but I love this I talk about it all the time you guys you know that this um, is the only mascara I use for my bottom lashes it's absolutely perfect that's what the brush looks like it does not smudge, it does not move, it does not transfer. It's just the absolute perfect bottom lash mascara of life. The wand is so short that you can really get in, you know, to the base of the lashes without it getting all over the place. It's basically foolproof. So if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend that for sure. And another thing is I got another 217 brush. So I only own one other MAC brush and it is another 217 brush. Um, I love this brush, you guys. I love this brush so much. It is absolutely perfect. It's such a good blending brush, but it's also really good at picking up product to lay down on the lid too. So what I'll do is I'll just tap it like straight down on its side in a color and then just place it and then blend out the edges. This is just such a good brush. I have like researched to find if there is a good dupe anywhere and nobody has been able to come up with one. So people say there are things that are close but nothing that completely mimics this and so I decided I use this brush so much like on the daily that I should just invest in a second one. So that's what I did. So I got three powder products. I got two single eyeshadows and I got this shaping powder. Um, two of these 
are the fault of Jaclyn Hill and one of them is the fault of Kristen Game. So this is the Pro Emphasize powder. Jaclyn Hill has been talking about this forever um, and she uses it with, I don't know, like a yellowish powder I think mixes them together to set her under eye. And she's been talking about it for so long that I just needed to try it. I haven't tried it yet. I will get back to you guys. It just looks like, I don't know, a nice powder. We shall see. It looks like it has some brightness to it in the camera, doesn't it? So maybe that'll brighten up the under eye. I'm excited to try it. She's been talking about it forever. And then the Cranberry, this shade here, I, she used this in a tutorial a while back and I thought that's a gorgeous color. I should really get that and now I have it. It's so pretty, right? And the last one is uh, because I was watching Kristen Game. I can't remember what video it was of hers. She was talking about favorite pairings or something like that. Anyway, she was swatching a lot of shadows and I just really loved that. That is Woodwinked. It looks a little bit more gold than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be more taupey. It just looks a little bit more gold. Actually, those two look like they'd be gorgeous together, don't they? So, I am brand new to the MAC eyeshadow game. I have a few now lipsticks, but I've never really used their eyeshadow before. I only own one other MAC eyeshadow, so I'm kind of excited to start using those. Um, with my online MAC order, I got a free mini strobe cream. So that's, I guess, like a liquid highlight. Um, I don't know. Feels really lotion-y. I'm gonna have to look into that, figure out what it is. So I got three blushes. <laughs> there's a reason for all of them. Probably not a good reason, but there's a reason for all of them. I have been obsessed with trying to find the perfect peach blush lately. Um, I like Milani Luminoso. I bought two peach blushes from the Sephora collection. And when I Googled best peach blush just to find like swatches, the one that I fell in love with is called Peaches by MAC. And I don't know if it was limited edition or what, but it's not available on their website. It was, I think maybe it was on their website, but sold out. Anyway, the closest I could come to it, to the similar shade is MAC Style. So that's this one. I don't know why, you guys. I've just been obsessed with peach blush lately, and maybe it's because I want spring to get here, and I think it's a beautiful spring shade. This one is kind of light, so hopefully it applies and I can build it up a little bit better. So that's Max Style. And then I got this one from the Flamingo Park collection. It's called Life's a Picnic, and doesn't it look intense? So again, I was looking at arm swatches on Google of this whole collection, and this is the only shade that really spoke to me. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Wow, that is intense. That's gonna require a light hand, that's for sure, but I think that'll be gorgeous for spring and summer. Look at how hot pink that is. Wow, okay. And then the very last blush is because I really, really like the formula of the MAC Mineralize blushes. And so I have one and I wanted another one. And I was thinking about getting, I think it's called Gentle. And I might still, but I think I like this one even better. Um, this is Petal Power. That's what it looks like. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, this looks kind of like um, NARS Orgasm a little bit. It, see how it has that sheen in it? That's what I love about the mineralized blushes. They just have this beautiful sheen to them. So I cannot wait to start using this. Um, the very last thing is not actually a MAC product, but I threw it in here because it was from when I ordered off the Bay website. And they have this line um, from this guy called Vincent Longo and I had never heard of him before. Have you guys ever heard of Vincent Longo? So I was a little bit intrigued because it's a brand I've never heard of and um, I've been going a little bit highlighter crazy lately and he had these really interesting looking highlighters. So that's the packaging and look at how this looks. See that? There we go. Isn't that cool and intriguing? It has a mirror in it. Yeah, um, I was just so intrigued by that. I had to 
get it and see what it was all about. And it's kind of like a cool tone highlight with kind of like a lavender undertone. And I think it looks really pretty. I haven't worn it on my cheeks yet, but it looks really nice. So, oh, by the way, it is called the La Bella Luce, Luce? It's Italian highlighter. And it is in the shade Flora. So there's that. So if you guys know anything about this brand, clue me in. But uh, it is available on the Bay website. There was a lot of products. There were some blushes there, but I had already picked up enough blushes. I was like, sorry, Vincent Longo, not today. Maybe another day. So that is my matte color, you guys. Um, if you picked anything up from the new spring collections, let me know because it's all so beautiful. Uh, just Google swatches. I, yeah, I'm obsessed with Googling swatches of anything just to see what it looks like. I have a problem, okay? So that's everything for today. So thank you so much for spending time with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.